There's a lot of different methods you can use to make your slip knot, and um, a slip knot is going to be the same whether you are beginning a crochet project or a knitting project. And I'm just going to show you the way that I like to do it. You want to have the tail end of your yarn to your left, and you want to make sure you're leaving enough of your tail so that you have enough to weave in later. And then you want the ball end of your yarn to the right. So just bring your two fingers up under the yarn, twist it around one time, grab the ball end of your yarn, and pull your loop through like that. And you can test to make sure that you've done your slip knot correctly. Okay, let me put your needle in here. And then you want to make sure that you can pull the ball end of the yarn to tighten it. And then if you pull the tail end of the yarn, it'll loosen it. And that's why they call it a slip knot. And then you're ready to begin whatever cast on method you want to use. I'll show you one more time how to do it. Tail end of your yarn to the left and the ball end to your right. Drape it over your two fingers, wrap it around one time, grab the ball end of your yarn, pull it through the loop, and, and you pull your ball end of the yarn to tighten it down.